What's going on guys? Uh, so today, ooh. so today we're gonna be installing a uh, U-bar type headlight on a 2008 GMC Sierra. It's one of my friends actually. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, let's get to installing. Pretty nice. Take a video. Yeah. We're gonna be installing some LED headlights too from Oxbeam. Oh, you are making a video. Yeah. Oh. So we're gonna show you how to fit fit these on projector lights because it's pretty tough to fit them. You gotta do some special cutting, but we're gonna show y'all how to do it. Hey, since you don't have the blue truck anymore, we're going to have to make a new intro. Probably. Or just mash it in with the new one. Hey, should I do like a cool little edit? Yes. Creep it up in here. Let's get this thing off. Now, on these 08s, are a little bit different to uh. A little dirty, I was working, sorry. On these 08s, it's a little bit different to take off the headlight. It's not just like the 06 models or the uh. the cat eye ears where it was just like a little pin. You take it out, or like the older generations where it's like real easy. On these, you have to take off the grill and part of the bumper, I think, to remove the whole headlight. <laughs> I need you to call your friend. So on these, what I was saying is that these lights, hold it. These lights have like a big housing with the fan on the back. So can you hold it up for now? So what you gotta do, this won't fit in there. It won't close, this little boot. So I'm gonna show you how to cut it. That way it can fit in there and still ventilate. That way it won't fog up your headlights or uh, keep them newer or nicer for a longer time. Get back to work. Sure. So you're just gonna take this off first and then just unclip the original headlight and take it off. Oh, there you go. And then take this off. There we go. And then get rid of that. Next thing you want to do is take your headlight bulb, the LED, stick it inside and find the place that it sits in. So mine sits right there. Uh, once it sits in place, you're going to want to turn it. So you can see I turned it. And then it'll come out. It'll focus. There we go. So we took the headlight out, the bulb, but the housing for the bulb is still in there. I don't know why I won't focus, but there. So now when you want to close this, it won't close properly. God dang it. 
It won't close properly because it's an aftermarket bulb. So you're gonna have to modify it a little bit and I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so I went ahead and bent it. Um, you just kind of have to maneuver it with some pliers. Don't bend it enough, bend it enough to where you break it. But as you can see, it's on there. I really don't want to move it because I, I put the, the housing off this LED so you can see on this one, the housing's still on there and that one's not, it's not on there. It's in there. And I put some uh, 3M black weather strip and gasket adhesive. That way, um, the chance of it fogging up or condensation building up inside is very, like, zero to none. So, uh, you got that. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go ahead and do that one too. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop on these and I'm gonna show you how to wire up the little bar. So if you get U-bars or these, I'll show you how to wire those up. And what I usually do on these uh, trucks, Chevy, the fog lights always turn on with the amber running lights. Um, or, uh, yeah, just the, the running lights. So if you click your... Hey. Hey. What'd you call me? So if you click your... Uh, I'll show you. So if you put it on this, it'll turn on the running lights, the orange ones. And then it'll also turn on the U-bars or whatever you have it wired up to halos, whatever. And then if you... If you put it on fog light, if it's off, you put it on fog light, oh, it's right here. It ha the truck has to, be, has to be running. But if you put it on fog light, the running lights and fog lights turn on. So you would get the, uh, the headlights off, but with the U-bars or the halos on, the running lights on, and then the fog lights on, but your headlights won't be on, which will make it look cool. I think it'll make it look cool. And then you can also have it with the headlights on, of course, and the high beams and all that. So, I'll show you how to do that right now. It's about to die. All right, so we got the headlights on now. So I'm gonna show you how to wire them up. Just pull it off. It's, uh, it's on the clip. Yeah, I know, just take it up. There we go. All right, so, as you can see, I cut it out there. I just made a little X, pushed this through, and then this wire is always outside. And I ran it to here. And then I tied in the U-bar, or the light that goes on the outside, to the uh, running lights, which are gonna be these two. And the, the wire for that one is gonna be the, uh, the gray, let's see if it'll focus. The gray, the gray and green wire. And then those turn on. And then of course the, uh, the the headlight, the LED headlight has that weather stripping I put in it. That way water doesn't get inside of it. So yeah.